Breaking news, Nigerians. 15-year-old header caught off Bauchi Farmer's hand with matches after destroying his crops. <laughs> they don't start again. No. The suspect has been arrested by the officers of the Benue State Police Command. Welcome back to Prospect Janet TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. 15-year-old header, identified as Adamu Ibrahim, has reportedly cut off the hand of a farmer with a machete in, in Bauchi State, northeast Nigeria. The suspect has been arrested by the officers of the Bauchi State Police Command. According to the police, the teenager attacked the victim during a fight over intrusion into the victim's farmland. A statement issued by the Bauchi State Police Public Relations Officer, SP Ahmed Wakili, said Adamu Ibrahim of Jeta Village along Gobe Road, Bauchi State, was arrested for trans trespass, mischief, and causing grievous Heart. The police said the attack followed a series, a series of complaints by the victim to the suspect father about his son's intrusion into his rice farmland. The statement read, Investigation revealed that on the 24th of August 2023, the suspect who was armed with a stick and matchet mischievously invaded the victim's farmland and destroyed the the yet to be ascertained value of crops a disagreement ensued in the case of which the suspect stabbed the victim upon asking him to vacate his farmland the suspect drew his machete and chopped off the the right the left hand of the victim hmm. The police said their personnel moved swiftly to prevent the issue from degenerating into a farmer's headers clash. The victim was rushed to the Abubaka Tafawa Balowa Teaching Hospital, Bauchi, for medical attention, and he is responding to treatment. Therefore, the Commission of Police, Musa Mohammed, while warning headers to stay clear from intrusion into farmland in the state directed that the suspect be charged upon and completion of the the discreet investigation wakili had it well i don't know the kind of investigation they want to carry out so he cut off the man's hand is he cut off the man's hand so he have to face the law you understand it's, it's really very painful because the kind of impunity these people eh, are exercising in Nigeria is just too much. You invaded someone's land, you destroyed the person's crops, and when they challenge you, why are you doing this? You will, you will, you, you will remove the person's hand or leg or head from his body and all that. And it's because these things were not corrected at the initial time and that is why it's still happening. All these things, not be today starts. You don't tell when Fulani headers they do this thing. You go carry your cows, enter person farmland. The way you are trying to make money with your cows, the same way the farmer is trying to make money from his crops. But you will enter the person's crops and you will destroy it. Why feeding your, your, your own cows? I don't know when cow has become a national issue in Nigeria. These things are personal business. This, they always, you know... Uh, use this cow issue as a kind of uh, disturbance. Everybody, they face their own business. The one where you say they make money to feed your family, now everybody they face. They face the farmer. The farmer gets farm. He, he, he plant crops because he want to make money from it. You won't get cow too. You the rare cow because you want to make money from it. So everybody should stay their own line. Don't they use your own, they rob another person because 
local business, not a national issue. Now your own personal business. So you deal with whatever, you know, you have to deal with. They don't talk about this ranching. They don't take them serious. These people do not supposed to be moving, you know, from one place to another. As you get your car, stay one place. If you reach to say, people when they buy in corn, they carry them. Build a ranch. Even all those ones when the former president, they tell that time, the government will build a ranch for them and all that. How many people the government, they do farm for? Or other business in Nigeria? Which kind will Allah be this? Now, now, this man, he not get one hand again. So that means he not go continue to farm again now. How is he going to be managing with one hand? This is really very destructive. Someone said here, yeah, why is the head that still having two hands? It should be placed in a state that we equal to what the farmer is facing now. If you talk now, they will say the matchet they carry is to cut down three branches for cows to eat. Why AK-47 is to protect themselves? from wild animals too bad hmm. i don't know why god give africans the type of blind leaders we have some treatment should be given back to him and they should try collect all the cows from him to compensate the victim this is nonsense the next time you will hear that he's being freed and what's and what every okay can't really get that. Even if you can, you 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 take his cows and give to the victim, he's not going to bring the 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 hand back. The 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 painful part of it is that this man is going to be released. You understand why uh, the farmer now have one one hand. The farmer now has one hand. Though. The the full and header. Still have his two eyes, his two hands, and two legs. So sad that we found ourselves in this situation. So, guys, let's hear from you. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.